Hi scholars, so today we're completing module two, lesson seven. So let's get started with our learning intention as usual. Thoughtful mathematicians read and estimate the weight of familiar objects to build mental benchmarks. And a benchmark is simply a standard or set number that we use as a comparison to help us determine other measurements or numbers. So let's look at our vocabulary for today. The metric system is a system of measurement based on tens, and they each have basic units to measure capacity, which is generally liquids, how much space the liquid takes up, length, and mass, which is similar to weight but not exactly the same. So for capacity, especially when we're using, generally for liquids, like you see here, this water, is the liter, that's the basic unit that's used, for length, the basic unit is the meter, and then for mass, the basic unit is the gram. Now, mass is the amount of matter in an object. Thinking back to first and second grade where you learned about the three states of matter, mass is how that matter is measured up. It's usually measured by comparing with an object of known mass, which is basically a benchmark. We're using something that is known to help us determine the mass of something else. While gravity influences weight, mass is not affected by gravity. So for example, here on Earth, you may weigh 50 pounds. If you were to go to the moon, you would weigh a little less because the gravity on the moon is not as strong as it is on Earth. But your mass would not change. A gram is, like I said, is a standard unit of mass in the metric system. And this is what I would call a benchmark. The mass of a paperclip is about one gram. So I can use the fact that a paperclip weighs one gram to estimate the potential mass of another object. A kilogram is another unit of mass and it equals a thousand grams. So one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. So it's definitely much heavier. So anything that's a one kilogram is equivalent to about a thousand paperclips. So I'm going to model this first problem. I'm going to show you how you can read a scale to measure the weight of an object. So here I have banana on this scale, and I see that I can't really see the measurement, so they zoomed in for me up here. So I'm going to use that to help me figure out this, the weight of this banana. So I see 100 on the darker line, and then 110 on the next darker line. And right in between, there's a middle line here. I believe this might be 5, because halfway between 100 and 110 would be 5. So 105, but I'm going to count just to be sure, because I know there's, notice there's 10 lines in between 100 and 110. So 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. So it is, in fact, 105, and I know it's grams, because I see the G right here. That stands for grams. So let's try this one together. Let's measure this sack of potatoes. So what do you think this might be based on the scale we have here? It starts at 0, goes all the way around to 30, and halfway across would be 15. Okay, well, I noticed that there are three darker lines from 0 to 15. So I believe they're counting by fives because I can do 5, 10, 15. So if that is the case, and this is 10, if I add, I keep going up by ones now, 11, 12, the sack of potato weighs 12 kilograms. I know it's kilograms because kg stands for kilograms. So go ahead and try this last one on your own. You're going to measure this pack of a bag of soil. So pause the video now and then determine the weight of the soil. Hey, right, welcome back. So I see that it's skip counting by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten, but in between there's other numbers. So that would be one, three, seven, nine, oops, sorry, one, three, five, seven, and this would be nine. So that means that this bag of soil weighs nine 
kilograms. And I know it is kilograms because I see the kg symbol right there. So try this one last one. You're going to measure these apples or peaches. And again, they've zoomed in for you. So pause now and press play when you've done. All right, welcome back. So I see 140 and 150, similar to the first one we did. And I know that these lines in the middle are ones, and this middle line here, the darker one, is five. So this is 145. One more after 145 would be 146. And I know it is grams because I see the G here. So now this is where we're actually going to use our benchmarks. These approximate estimate weights are benchmarks. I know that a paperclip weighs about one gram. A tablespoon weighs about 25 grams. A pineapple weighs about one kilogram. And a watermelon weighs about six kilograms. So these are benchmarks that I can use to help me determine the approximate weight or estimate the weight of these other objects that I have here. And I'll show you how to do that. So let me do the first one for you. An orange weighs about 200 grams or 200 kilograms. Well, an orange definitely weighs less than a pineapple. And a pineapple is one kilogram. And I remember that one kilogram is a thousand grams. So it can't be 200 kilograms. That'd be way too much. I'm going to go with 200 grams. A basketball weighs about 624 grams or kilograms. So a basketball, well, you know, a basketball is definitely not heavier than a watermelon. And a watermelon is 6 kilograms. So it can't be 624 kilograms because that would be way heavier. So I'm going to go with grams again. So I want you to try these last three. The brick, small packet of sugar, and tiger. And then press pause now to solve those. Find your estimate, and then press play when you're ready to check over your estimate. Again, pause now, estimate the weight of these objects, then press play when you're ready. Well, welcome back again. So a brick weighs about 2 grams or kilograms. Well, 2 grams seems like way too little because a paperclip is 1 gram, and a brick weighs way more than a paperclip. So I'm going to go with kilograms. A small packet of sugar weighs about 4 grams or 4 kilograms. Well, grams seems about right because a small packet of sugar doesn't weigh much more than a paperclip. So I'm going to go with grams for that one. And then a tiger weighs 190 grams or kilograms. I'm definitely going with kilograms because a tiger weighs so much more than a watermelon. And a watermelon is only 6 kilograms. So 190 kilograms makes sense. I hope you did well on these estimates. And again, these are benchmarks. So they're kind of like reference points or facts that we know that we can use to compare or estimate the value of other things or the weight or measurement of other objects. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you can reach out to me on Schoology or Hangouts if you have any questions or concerns.